relationships matter. Hello there, this is Pastor Pete Pavelic. Thank you so much for joining me here for another edition of The Daily Devo. Don't forget, you can find these daily devotions, sign up for our daily email, and find many other resources over at my website, pastorpete.org. Today, I want to read to you a short passage of scripture out of the book of Philippians chapter 1, where the Apostle Paul begins this way in verse 3. He says, I give thanks to my God for every remembrance of you, always praying with joy for all of you in my every prayer because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Paul was so thankful for his friends. You can see passages like this in the book of Colossians, the book of Ephesians, all the epistles that Paul wrote. He was quick to point out how important his relationships with other people were and how fervently he prayed for them and cared about them and longed to be with them. And I think it just shows us how important our relationships are. You know, sometimes we lose sight of the importance of our relationships. We become convinced we can just make a new relationship or we can just find a new friend or we can just go out there and, and, and start over, you know, and that's hard. It's really difficult. And I don't think it's necessarily God's plan for us. God wants us and puts us in these positions to have circles of friends that can walk with us for many, many years and days of our lives. I, I know that sometimes our friends change and sometimes for good reasons your friends need to change. But I also know that sometimes we give up on our friendships and our relationships way too quickly. I've been reading a biography of Ulysses Grant called American Ulysses, a great book. And one of the things that has struck me and stuck out to me is how important relationships were to Ulysses Grant how important the relationships he formed as a kid were when he went off to West Point, and how important the relationships formed at West Point became as he rose through the ranks in the Civil War and ultimately became the great general that he was, and how important those relationships he made on the battlefield during the Civil War became when he became the U.S. president. Relationships matter. They're important. And it's easy for us to give up on them. I want to encourage you today, don't give up on your relationships. Pray for those that you are in circles of friendships with or have other relationships with. Pray for them as Paul did. May it be able to be said of us that we gave thanks to God in every remembrance of our friends, always praying with joy for all of them in every prayer because of their partnership in the gospel and because of the way they encourage us. Pray for your relationships. Pray for your spouse, for your kids, for your boss, for your friends, for your co-workers. Pray for your pastor. Pray, 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 and cherish those relationships God has put in your life. I hope you'll take that to heart. I hope it'll encourage you. And I hope your friends are praying for you too. I'm so thankful that my friends do. And I'm so thankful for all of you that are my friends who have walked with me through so much of life. Thanks so much. Don't forget, you can go over to pastorpete.org to find this Devo and many others. Sign up for our daily email. Find us over on Apple Podcasting, iHeartRadio, Spotify, many other places. Share this out there on social media, and let's continue to get the good news to the world. May God bless you. Cherish those friendships. We'll see you tomorrow.